Trunky Monkey, where the heck did you put my magic beans? What magic beans? Oh, wait, I didn't give them to you. Obama, where are my magic beans? Are you referring to the ones you gave me yesterday? Yes, those are it. Well, about that, I may have given them to Michelle. Are you being serious right now? Obama, those beans are too powerful for a tiny woman like Michael. Don't call my wife tiny or else I will slap you silly. Never mind that. You need to get those beans back. Okay, I'll take you with me. You'll take me with you? Yeah, I'll take my phone with me. Oh, okay, makes sense. Michelle. Hey, what's up, honey? Do you remember those beans I gave you earlier? Yeah. And do you know where they are? Yeah, I planted them out back. You planted them? Yep. And it seemed like they were growing right as I planted them. Oh, no. Michelle, I'll be right back. All right. Love you. Joe, I assume you heard everything she said. Obama, how much have they grown? Holy cow. What? Is it bad? Joe, it's way more bad than bad. It's worse. Is the stalk in the clouds? Uh, yes, but I think it's beyond that now. Oh, great. Joe, you should come over to see this massive thing. Dog, I'm already doing that. Okay, well, can you do it faster? No, my feet are too frail. Joe, are you almost here? I've been waiting for so long now. Dog, I'm about to be in your driveway. Oh, yeah, I can hear you. All right, I'm here. Holy shoot, that's an enormous beanstalk. I know, but I don't want it here. Let's just dig it up. Whoa, we can't do that. We have to climb it to find the treasures. Did someone say treasures? Of course you show up when someone mentions treasure. Look, I just got here. I ain't Batman or anyone like that. Obama, we have to climb that beanstalk. We have no choice. Uh, all right, fine. We'll climb the beanstalk. Uh, Obama, how the heck are we supposed to get down afterward? Joseph, that is a dumb question. I have to agree with Obama. How in the world do you not know how to climb down? Oh, so that's how you do it. I don't know what we're going to do with you. Trumpy, never mind that. We're about to go into the clouds. Holy moly, this is going to be fun. Holy moly, the clouds look amazing. Wow, this is actually amazing. I'd love to stare at the clouds all day, but we need to find the treasure so we can get back down safely. Yeah, let's not get sidetracked. We have to find this thing. Oh, I think I can see the castle. What the pickles? I didn't know there were castles here. Dog, that's where the treasure is. Okay, so who's going to walk up to that castle? Well, since Joe wanted to climb this beanstalk in the first place, I think he should be the one to do it. Oh, come on. I'm too scared. Joe, just walk up to it and inspect the area. All right, fine. I'm going. Barack, do you think anything is going to happen? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Hello? Is anyone here? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Oh, hi. I was wondering where the ice cream is. I don't know, but if my higher-ups see me talking to you, then they'll unalive me. Oh my gosh, do you need help? Sir, can you please back away from the castle? I just wanted to help, though. Meet me out back in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Joe is taking a while to get back. I hope he didn't get caught. Knowing Joey, he probably did. Guys, we need to go behind the castle. Wait, what? Just trust me. Okay, it's almost time. Dog, you still haven't told us why we're back here. Hello, Joseph. Whoa, who are you? My name is Josh, but you can call me the guard. That name sounds oddly familiar. Anyway, I need you guys' help. What do you need help with? I'm being held here and I can't escape. Trump, do you think we can sneak him out of this place? Absolutely, let's do it. All righty, Jokey, you'll make sure there are no guards out there and Barack and I will sneak him out of here. Wait, what if someone sees me? Then you'll book it out of there. Will you guys follow me or just stay here? Well, we'll probably have to follow you because the guards will be in search mode. Oh, the guards will definitely be in guard mode. They'll search this place until every single speck has been searched. Great, we'll go ahead and see if they're out there. Before I go, let's figure out what I'll do. If I run, that means they're out there. But if I just signal you, that means there's no one. Sounds good, Sleepy. Good luck. Thanks. Do you think there are any guards out there? Dog, I have no clue. Guys, Joe is booking it. Oh, shoot. Let's get the hell out of here. Josh, run in between us so they don't see you. Okay, let's go, go, go. I got lost. I'm leaving now. Oh, shoot. Where are these dunderheads? Obama, tie your shoe later. We have to get out of here. And done. Okay, let's run. Dude, I really hope they weren't caught by those guys. Jokey, get out of the way. Oh, shoot. That was fast. Climb down. We need to chop this thing down. Why? Did they see you guys or something? No, we came out unnoticed. Of course we were spotted, Jokey. Okay. All right, boys. We're going to compare new Minecraft blocks with the old ones to see which one is better. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. Okay, so first off, we got the oak planks. Bro, the new one is way better for sure. Trinket, are you on something? The obvious better one is the old one. Is that because you're old too? No, because it's OG. Joe, I'm not going to lie. I think the new one is better because it's cleaner than the old one. Are y'all on something? Because that is the worst one. Yeah, I was on these nuts. Enough, you two. Okay, the next one we have is the grass block. Dog, the new one wins every time. Trunk, you're an uncultured swine. The old one is better. Joseph, shut your old mouth. Your opinion is stupid and wrong. The only thing that is wrong is you. Guys, chill the flip out. It's just Minecraft blocks. It's not just Minecraft blocks. It's just that my opinion is better than Joey's. Your opinions come from your rear. Stop it. Okay, the next block we got is Netherrack. Joseph, I swear to flipping gosh, if you choose what I think you're going to choose, I will lose it. I think the newer one is better. Wow, that was unexpected. Just kidding. Old one for life. Ah! Uh...
Boys, we're going to compare new Minecraft blocks with the old ones. The first block we got is the redstone lamp. Joseph Robinette Biden, if you choose the old one, I'm going to go ballistic. Bro, cool your jets. I was going to choose the new one. That's what I thought, Sleepy. Don't call me Sleepy. My name is Joe Biden. Boys, take some chill pills. Okay, the next one we got is the clay block. Bro, there ain't no difference. Actually, it looks like they moved some pixels to the left and right. Well, the old one is a tad bit darker, and that's why I'm going with the new one. Hey, yo, Joey. What's wrong with darker blocks, Jokey? Hold up. I meant to say the old one. I love light and dark blocks. Bro, why did you say light first? Obama, can we move on to the next one? Jokey, we'll talk later. All right, the next block we got is the crafting table. What the flip is that? That ain't no crafting table. Whoopsie, that's the wrong one. Ah, uh, there are the real crafting tables. Not gonna lie, I think the- Joseph, be careful with the words you use because they might determine how Obama treats you. That is a true fact, Joey. Oh, uh, well, uh, um... Come on, Joseph, spit it out. Yeah, Jokey. Well, I like the new one. Oh! Boys, today we're going to compare new Minecraft blocks with the old ones. Joey, you better not choose the old and crusty ones again. Bro, I'll choose whichever one I want to choose. All right, the first block we have is gravel. Ooh, I gotta go with the old one because of the texture. Not gonna lie, I have to agree with Joey. The old gravel looks like it actually has little flint pieces in it. Wow, what happened to not choosing the old ones, huh? Look, this old one has a very unique look. I couldn't just not choose it because that would be disrespectful. Oh, and choosing the new oak planks over the old ones isn't disrespectful? Guys, let's calm down. The next block we have is iron ore. Bro, the new one is way more round and stuff and that's why i'm going with the old one because the old one captures the blockiness of the game once again i have to agree they removed the blockiness in the block and made it more round well i actually kind of like the new one because it's simplistic obama you're the type of person to pour the milk before the cereal yeah what the hell is wrong with you look simple things are way better to comprehend than things that are blocky minecraft is blocky what the hell do you mean trunky monkey that's fake news Boys, I think it's about time we compare new Minecraft blocks with the old ones. Alrighty then, what you got, Bama? The first block we got is cobblestone. Oh, definitely the new one because it doesn't have those weird black spots. No offense, Barack. Even though the old one is nostalgic, I have to go with the new one. It's just a lot cleaner looking. All right, the next one we got is the emerald block. Ah, get that new junk out of here. The old one is where it's at. Tramp, you're so wrong. The new one is more square than that old thing. I don't care. The old one is the best. Trump, are you on something? Did Melania put something in your drink? Melania did nothing to my drink, you dunderhead. Guys, chill out. The next block is the sand block. Bro, the old one looks like Joe's wrinkly skin. Trunky monkey, I could say the same thing about Ivanka's skin. You can't say nothing, dog. She moisturizes her skin every day. Oh, I didn't think anyone else knew that. Joey, what the flip are you doing with my daughter? I didn't do anything. I literally ran into her and we started talking about skin routines. What? Did you talk about anything else? Yeah, we also talked about marriage. What the hell? I will be Joe Robinette Trump. Ah! Boys, we're going to switch it up and compare the old Minecraft items with the new ones. Yeah, baby, what's the first one? The first item is steak. Screw the new steak texture. The old one is the literal best. Wrong again, Trumpty Dumpty. You're just blinded by nostalgia. The hell? The only thing I'm blinded by is that big and shiny forehead of yours. Oh, wait, your forehead ain't shiny at all because it's old and crusty. <laughs> Trumpty Dumpty, at least I didn't have a great fall on a puny wall. That is it. You two keep bickering over these dumb items. Compare the items yourselves. Obama, where are you going? I'm going to watch the rest of Velma. Hey, what the hell? We were supposed to watch that together. I do not give a single flying flip about who watches what. Goodbye. Wait, Obama, we'll stop bickering. Just don't leave. Yeah, we promise. All right, fine. There's not much time left anyway. The next item we have is the iron ingot. Well, I think the new one is better because it's got a sleeker look to it. I have to disagree with Trump. I think the old one is way better because of the darkness around the ingot. I will respect your observation, Joey. Thanks, Trump and Ingot. All right, Jokey. All right, Orange Peel. Shut the phone. Boys, I think it's time for us to hold a vote for the best Minecraft block. Trump and Donalds, that is the worst idea you've ever had. Yeah, especially since we all have different opinions. And that's the exact reason why we're doing it. Bro, I don't like this. Whoa, get the flip away from me, you creep. But your hair smells nice. Boys, let's focus. Okay, the best Minecraft block is spruce wood. Ain't nothing wrong with spruce wood, but I definitely love the grass block a lot more. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't agree with me, especially since you have the same- Donnie, stop talking before Obama calls his buddies. No, 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 I want to hear the rest of what he was going to say. Anyways, my personal favorite block is netherrack. Mr. Voice Crack McGee, that is the most disgusting block in the game. But it's not. It looks like a delicious square of red beans. Whatever you say, voice crack. Okay, so we have spruce wood, the grass block, and netherrack. Which one we choosing, boys? By the way, you're not allowed to choose yourselves. 
Gosh darn it. Well, I have to go with the spruce one because I don't hate that color. Same dog. Netherrack literally sucks. Yeah, baby. I'm a winner. Ha <laughs> ha. Guys, it's time for us to compare the best Minecraft biomes. Hold up. Before we do this, I just want to make sure that we all agree on the Nether being out of this ranking. Trumpy, I do not agree with that. Yeah, I don't either. Why do you even want it voted out? Because the Nether has the blandest biomes ever to exist. Bro, the Nether has some of the best biomes to exist. We'll see, Jokey. Okay, the first biome we have is the plains. Dude, the plains is one of the best biomes in the game because it's where you start to get wood. Well, that's not necessarily true since you can always spawn in a different biome, like the spruce biome. And the dark oak biome? Yeah. Hold up. Why did you specifically say the dark oak biome? I think we both know why, Barricade. Trunk and Donuts, I'm going to spare you for now. Joe, what are your opinions on the biome? I think it's cool, but it's nothing special. Okay, the next one we got is the dark oak biome. Trump, don't even start again. Man, this biome reminds me of a person. Trumpy Wumpy, it's a biome, not a person. You're an oblivious old man. Stop calling me things that I'm not. Stop it, you two. I'm giving the win to the dark oak biome. Hey, you can't choose yourself. Trump, you better watch your back. Boys, I think it's about time we compare old Minecraft blocks with the new ones. It's about time, Barricade. All right, the first block we got is wool. Now, for the wool block, I will say the new one because it is less trash looking. The old one actually just looks like a white trash block because of the nasty gray spots. In all honesty, I have to agree. The new Mojang team really refined this block and many other ones. Agreed. Okay, the next block we got is glowstone. Man, with old Mojang, they did not shade any of these blocks. They just straight up used full-on colored pixels. Don't forget they only had a few people on their team when they did that. Also, this was the early 2010 S. A lot of the games from that time had basic coloring. The hell do you mean? Fruit Ninja had amazing color shading. Sure, the coloring was good, but the game overall wasn't great. Watch your mouth, Joseph. Don't ever disrespect one of the greatest games ever made again. Bro, you're the type of person to love Temple Run and Angry Birds. What the flip am I hearing right now? Joe, did someone slip something in your drink? Hell no, these are my honest opinions. I'm gonna be right back. I need to do something. Guys, I can't believe this is the end of an era. Wait, what are you talking about, Trump? Well, we've been in this house for a while, and it's about time we need to move. But we don't have to move, Trump. Joe, these sorts of things are always inevitable. I guess Trump is kind of right about that. Man, I'm going to miss this place a lot. Look, I'm going to miss this place too, but we can't be sad about it because there will be new opportunities for us. Obama, you wanted to cook like Gordon Ramsay, but you can't do that here since his kitchen isn't here. And Joe, you want to sell ice cream, but you can't do that here because you can't find any children. The point is, we should learn to move on from things that are in the past. I learned that from Manchel. I guess Trump's got a point, but we've been here since the start of everything. Yeah, remember when we first bought the house? Man, I've never been to one of these things before. I hope I can get this house. I'll bid $69 million. Ah, uh, that was the start of everything. Whoa, who's at the door? Hi, I'm with the EBI. I heard you were moving. Uh, what does EBI stand for? It stands for the Editing Bureau of Investigating. Hold up, is that you, Josh? You've seen too much. Team 5, move in. Apprehend the suspects. Put your freaking hands up! Whoa, what the hell is going on? Put your hands up. All right, fine, but I want my one-time call. Shut your trap. Josh, I've apprehended one of the suspects. Wait, you didn't get them all? Sir, there was only one person in here. Shoot, that means my stupid forgetto stick didn't work. Search the perimeter for the other two suspects. We need to find them to protect the universe as we know it. Man, I'm so glad we were able to break out of the endless loop. Dude, how did you even figure out it was a loop? Well, you could see the red line at the bottom reset to the start. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, where should we go to? Well, we could go to a daycare for children. Joey, we're trying to get away from the EBI, not be right in their sights. Hold up, what if we went to our old house? I mean, it has all of our stuff there. That's genius, Barricade! Alrighty, let's go then. 2.5 hours later. Bro, we finally made it. Wow, this place still looks fresh, as if someone were here. Dog, come look at this! What is it, Jokey? Holy moly guacamole. That computer is playing by itself. Not only that, but it's also the gameplay at the bottom of the screen. Joe, we need to get out of here, now. Okay, okay. Boys, please don't leave. Wait, is that you, Ronald? It is indeed me, and I need help. What do you need help with? Well, I'm stuck in this game and can't get out. How in the world do you expect us to get you out? I don't know. Maybe you can pull an Obama or something. Very funny, Ronnie. Wait, how did you even get in there in the first place? Well, it all started a few years ago. Trump and I were playing on the Minecraft server, and all of a sudden, this mysterious man appeared behind me. Everything after that was a blur until I was put into these short videos. Hold up. Which Minecraft server are you talking about? Well, you can take a look for yourself. Head to the main menu and join the server called The War Server. Whoa, this looks oddly familiar. It should, especially since the big war that occurred. We gather here today for the death of our good friend, Joe. Hold the truck up. I remember everything. Why the hell am I in real life? I don't know. Joe, we were going to tell you about it, but we didn't want to destroy any more timelines. 
Wait, you and Trump knew about it? We did know about it, and I'm going to be fully honest. We don't think you were originally in the game. We think you were a real person in a different timeline, kind of like this one. Oh, shoot, you guys need to get out of here. Joe, let's get the flip out of here. But we can't just leave Ronald here. Then let's take the laptop. Hurry, Joseph. Boys, you need to go out the back door. Joe, I'll get the door. Run, run, run. This is the EBI. Show yourselves. Team 5, you go left. Team 6, you go right. I'll go forward. Yes, sir. Barack, where do we go? Well, we have to get our car back, so we're going to the car. Dog, that is way too risky. They're probably searching it right now. Guys, open that shed over there. Why, Reagan? Just do it. Holy shoot, this is a beaut. Well, where are the keys? They're in the glove box. Okay, let's get a move on then. Come out, come out wherever you are. Huh, these guys aren't even here. Sir, we haven't found anything. Wait, what is that noise? Holy shoot, there they are. Load up, let's go. Team four and five, the suspects are on the move, heading north. Barack, drive faster. Dog, I have to do the speed limit. Screw the speed limit. We're trying to get away from these guys. Holy shoot, now that's what I'm talking about. Team 5, do you have any visuals on the suspects? We did, but they pulled away very fast. Ah, gosh dang it. Go faster. We can't go faster because of the orange. Shut up! Obama, where are we going to go now? Well, we're going to the only place I can think is safe. Where's that, your house? All righty, we're here. Bro, this is your house. Obama, they're going to come here. Joker, trust me, they're not going to come here for a while. So what are we going to do while we're here? Well, we have to figure out how to get Trump back and need to find out how to get you back to your timeline. Wait, but I don't want to leave you guys. This is the closest I've ever been to you guys. Wait, is your timeline's Trump and Barack enemies? Well, not exactly, but I feel like I've been bonding with you guys a lot better than the other guys. Barack, explain why you're on the news. Huh? What are you talking about, honey? Apparently both of you were in a high-speed chase. Oh, you're talking about the new ad campaign for our new book, Obama and Joe, The Chase for Yemen. Oh, is that what that is? Wow, well, all right then. I'll leave you guys alone. Barack, why did you lie to her? Because she can't know about everything going on. Anyways, let's figure out how to get that orange back. Okay, I have some ideas. Dog, can you let me go? Hey, answer me when I'm talking to you. Look, you'll be let go when everything gets fixed. What needs to be fixed? I'll pay all the fees. Mr. President, it's not like that. I'm talking about the timelines. What? Guys, we need to find something to do. Trump, don't take that sentence a different way. Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Is it doing your mom? I knew he was going to say that. No, we should totally go fishing. Hold up, Joe's onto something. Of course, I'm onto something. Now let's get the poles and head to the water. Obama, are we there yet? Obama, are we there yet? Obama, are we there yet? Enough. We'll be there when we're supposed to be there. Uh, did you guys bring any bait? Gosh darn it, I knew I forgot something important. Don't worry, Obama. We can just stop by Bill's bait shop to pick up some. Joe, wake up. Go in and get some bait. Oh, I fell asleep. Okay, I'm going. Hey, Bill, can I get some worms? You sure can. Here you go. And here's three dollars. Thanks, Billy Boy Bob. Come again, Jokey. All right, I got the bait. It's lake time then? Yeah, baby. Are we there yet? Yes, Trumpy, we are here. All right, let's get the chairs and stuff ready. Uh, how do I do this? Joe, just pull the chair arms out. Whoa, it worked. Thanks, Barricade. Come on, you freaking fish. I will catch you. Trump, we haven't even set up anything, and you're already fishing. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, you son of a gun. Stop pulling me. Do you need help, Trumpy? Ah, uh, no. Jokey, we need to save Trumpy. I'm aware of that, but how will we save him? He's literally going so fast. Hold up, I think I might have an idea. Ah, I ain't letting go of you, bro. Whoa! Ah! Uh, Barack, what is that? Joseph, stand back. Holy Cheeto dust, what is that? This is my portable boom boom launcher. I keep it on me just in case this sort of thing happens. Wait, are you going to boom boom trunky monkey? No, I'm going to hit the fish that is pulling him. Okay, the system is booting up. Ah! Oh, I got you now, Broski. Come on, just give up, you freaking fishy wishy. Barricade, is it booted up yet? Joe, it's almost done. Oh, it's booted up. Okay, I need to locate trunk. Hurry, Bama, something bad could be happening to him. Ah! Yeah, baby! I'm so close to getting you! Whoa! Stop trying to pull me back in! Okay, I found him. Now I'm going to do a precision boom-boom on that thing pulling him. Wait, won't that thing hurt him? Trumpy, no. The fish, yeah. All right, fire in the hole! Oh, what the flip is that noise? Holy shoot! Wait, that thing is headed toward my fish! No! Direct hit, yeah, baby. Let's go to him! I cannot believe someone blew up my fish! I was literally about to catch it! Obama, are you sure Trumpy is this way? Joey, the GPS said that he was this way. Well, did you ever think the GPS could be wrong? What are you talking about? Well, the map could be wrong, or the internet signals could be wrong. Joseph, there is nothing wrong. I made sure to check if everything was working. Whatever you say, Barack Obama. Obama, Joker, where are you guys? Man, that fish pulled me pretty far. Whoa, what the hell was that? Hello? Is anyone there? Show yourself. Oh! Holy shoot, why did you do that? Ha ha ha, you should have seen the look on your face. Joseph, stop it. Trump, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. The fish I almost had was boom boomed by something. Uh, I think you meant to say by someone. Alama, did you seriously use the portable boom boom launcher that I gave you? Turnip, we thought the fish was going to pull you to the waterfall. I knew it. 
Well, there goes the fish I was going to cook. Trump, I want to make it up to you. I know a guy who will sell us his big fish, which is rare. How big are we talking? Probably around 12 feet tall and 5 feet wide. Oh, heck yeah. Thank you, Obama. No problem, dog. Huh, I feel like going somewhere today. Joseph Obama, pack your bags. Where are we going? Well, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm sure we'll figure out something. Oh, come on. Why do we have to go today? I was going to meet up with someone. Joe, maybe it's a good thing we're leaving. All righty, pack your bags. Boys, did you pack everything you needed? I packed everything I needed. I don't know about Joey, though. I didn't know where we were going, so I just packed all the essentials. All righty, then. Let's load up the car, and we'll drive somewhere. Baralaralar, do you know where we're going? Dog, I have no idea. Tourniquet, where are we going? Don't worry about it. It'll be revealed soon. Dog, we better not be driving to Chicago to stay in your Trump Towers. Don't worry, we're not driving to Chicago. All right, we're here. Wait, why are we at the airport? Because this is the only way we're able to get to our destination. I've got an interesting feeling about this. We yay! I can't wait to see where Donker is taking us. Jokey, stop yelling. We're on a plane. Turnikey, how far is this place you are taking us to? Well, it's approximately 12 and a half hours away. OMG, OMG, are we going back to Ukraine? It's a surprise, Jokey Smokey. Sir, the pilot would like to speak to you. Oh, okay. Boys, I'll be right back. The pilot wants to talk to me. Why would the pilot want to talk to you? Bro, I have not a single clue. Be right back. I wonder if the pilot knows Turkey Durkey. Joe, you're probably right. Anyways, look outside to see where we are. Why can't you look yourself? Because you're the one next to the window. Oh, I guess that makes perfect sense. Uh, I can see a lot of blue stuff. I think it might be kinetic sand or something. Joseph, that isn't kinetic sand. I think that's water. But water is normally clear, not blue. Joe, I'll explain how all that works when we get to wherever we are going. Howdy, boys. I'm finally back. Welcome back. What did the pilot want? Well, he just let me know that we'll have to use parachutes to get to our destination. Wait, we have to jump out of a plane? Yeah, and it has to be done right now. This is a joke, right? Ah, uh, Trump, I hate this. Whee! This is so fun. Woo, yeah, baby. This place better be worth jumping for. Ah, uh, I'm going to aim for that ice cream truck. Joe, we have to aim for the red target. Joseph. Just let him go. He's got a parachute anyway. Speaking of parachutes, we should open them. Good call. Where? Oh, shoot. I'm going too fast. Ah. Dog, that was a gnarly fall. I wonder where Joey landed. Turnkey, I think it's obvious where he landed. Oh, I'm so sorry about your ice cream truck. Uh, I'll just be going now. Oh, Jokey, where are you? Look, I can see him. Joseph, you were supposed to land on the red target. Yeah, but I saw an ice cream truck. Of course you did. Anyways, follow me to the hotel. Flirpy Derpy, you still haven't told us where we are. Obama, just look at this view and tell me where you think we are. Holy shnikes, is this Hawaii? Righty-o, chap, let's go check in. Hi, I need a room for an old man, a brownie, and a handsome man, a.k.a. me. Okay, I have one bedroom left that has only two beds. All right, put me down for that one. Trump, we have three people here. Where is the third person going to sleep? Well, hotels have this thing called pull-out couches. Oh, please don't make me sleep in it. Well, since I dislike this couch a lot, I will go get snacks from the front desk. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Well, I was wondering where I can get some snacks from. The snacks are in there. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, what do I want? Okay, I think this is enough food to last me the night. Joseph, what are you doing up? Wait, is that food? Oh, great. Joseph, wake up. We have to get going. Wah! I'm awake! Good. Get ready to go, then. Uh, I think I'm already ready. So you brushed your teeth, grabbed the stuff you needed, and went to the bathroom? Uh, I'll be right back. Turnip, where is Joey? Well, he's probably still brushing his teeth. Sorry about that, boys. I am now ready. It's about time. Okay, let's go to the first location. Where's the first locale anyway? This beautiful view of the mountains. Wow, this looks so amazing. I know, right? Can I climb the rail to see what's down there? Joker, slower. You cannot do that. Now, let's move on. Oh, uh, fine. The next place we got is the beach. Oh my gosh, I can build sandcastles here. Yes, of course you can build sandcastles here. But we're not going to be here for that much longer because there is one more thing I want you guys to see. I wonder what it could be. Welcome to one of Hawaii's volcanoes. Holy shoot, are they going to erupt? From a genius's standpoint, I'm going to say no because it already released all of the magma that was built up in the magma chamber. Barracuda, we're on a vacation, not a school field trip. Darn. Anyways, let's go back to town and get some lunch. Finally, I'm starving. Guys, I'm going out on a limb and saying that cherry slushies are the best. That is the worst pick. Blue raspberry is where it's at. Dog, you're tripping. The best flavor is actually Coca-Cola. Obama, did Hunter give you his bag again? Nope. Coca-Cola slushies are the best. Obama, I like the Coca-Cola slushies, but they're too soda pop tasting. That's literally the point of the slushy, you ding-dong. Look, both of those flavors are overrated. Cherry is the bomb. Trinket cherry is the one that is overrated. Hold up, did you just make a joke? Dog, I don't make jokes, I spit facts. Hmm, I think to find the true best flavor, we have to duel it out. With swords or pew-pews? I'm talking about dueling with our best poses. Oh, dog, I'm going to win this so easily because I have the muscles. 
All right, let's do it in three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, baby, I'm a Sigma male. Nah, dog, look at this. I have the rippling muscles. There ain't nothing there, Joseph. Guys, I am clearly the winner here. Holy hell, dog, you're ripped. Uh, Obama, can I come over to your house tonight? Joseph, what the hell? You're a creep. I'm not a creep. I just wanted to sit down and chat for a bit and maybe do other things. What the hell? Ugh, this place sucks. I wish I didn't make that stupid bet with Trump. Joseph, is that you? Oh, great. Just great. Joe, what the hell happened? Why are you on the streets? Well, Trump and I bet that I couldn't touch the ceiling in my house, and I lost that bet. Bro, what did you bet to make you be on the streets? Well, I betted my... He betted everything he once owned, even the presidency. Oh, it's you. What's up, Jokey? How's city life treating you? Oh, be quiet. At least I didn't chicken out of the challenge. Trumpet, how could you do this to him? He's just a poor old man. Look, he lost the bet, and I won the bet. Also, I wasn't the one who betted everything they own. Fair point, but don't you think it's a bit selfish to not leave a bit of money for him? Hmm, maybe you're right. All right, Joseph, I'll give you back your house, and I'll leave you some money, but I'm not giving back the presidency. Wow, I didn't think you were actually going to give me anything. Joey, don't tempt him. Yeah, don't tempt me, or else... Okay, follow me to your house. Ooh, we're here. Yeah, anyway, take the keys and this check for $5,000. That's it? Wow, you're a cheapskate. Look, I ain't made of money. You're literally a billionaire. What do you mean? Uh, I gotta go. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello there, Donald Trump speaking. Dolan Trumpet, I may have done something bad. Joe, what the pickles happened? Well, I was getting ice cream from the ice cream man and a child came up to me. Joe, you didn't do what I'm thinking, right? I'm in a jail cell right now. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I'll be there soon. Obama, where are you at? I'm in the kitchen. Barack, Joe is in jail right now. Wait, what? There's no time to mess around. We need to get there as fast as possible. Man, this place is so scary. I hope they can get here faster. Trump, you were supposed to take a right turn, not a left turn. Trust me, Obama, I know what I'm doing. Trumpy, I can't trust you because we're literally off-roading right now. This is the shortcut. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Hi, we're here to bail out a Mr. Jokey. Ugh, not these guys again. What did you say? Oh, I said you'll have to pay 10 grand for his bail. Here, take 11 for the troubles. Whoa, what is that noise? Joseph, you have a lot of explaining to do. Trump, I can explain everything. This was supposed to be a birthday party for you, but I forgot that your birthday is in June. What the flip? Joe, I feel like building a house today for no absolute reason. I don't know why, but I feel like doing the same thing. What about you, Obama? Do you feel like building a house too? Nah, he actually feels like destroying one. Ha ha ha, that's a good one. Real funny, Jokey. Um, yes, I do feel like building a house too. Okay, then I guess we can get a blueprint going. Where in the pickles are we even going to build this thing? All will be revealed in time, Joker. Why do you want to build this in the backyard? Because I don't have enough land on Mar-a-Lago. You could have demolished the freakishly large golf course. Hell no. I love that golf course very much. Okay, let's get to building this thing. Hold up. Why are the materials colored? These are the premium 2x4s. They have premium wood? Wow, I had no idea. All right, let's get to work. Bobomna, can you pass me the nails? Yeah, sure. Uh, Barack, these are screws. It's what Joey bought. All right, whatever. And the last piece is in. The house is officially complete. Joseph, what the hell is this? It's a beautiful house for children. This ain't a house. This is a kid trap. It's a house, dog. I'm gonna fuck. Guys, I heard there was a house bidding down the road. Dog, no way. I've been needing to buy a new house for a while. Trump, how many bedrooms does the house have? I think the paper said there were four bedrooms. Dude, it's literally the perfect house for my family. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go bid on this house. Welcome to the house bidding. We'll be bidding on this house that is on four acres and nothing more than that. Man, I've never been to one of these things before. I hope I can get this house. In your dreams, Joe, I'm winning this house. Bill, what the pickles are you doing here? Well, I need a new house to move in, so that's why I'm here. Oh, did Monica dump you again? No, I just felt like we need to move somewhere else. What's wrong with the place you live in now? Well, they apparently didn't like the fact that our house is riddled with mice. Oh, I guess that makes sense. All right, let's start the bidding at $100,069. Over here. We got one for $100,069. $200,069. $300,069. We have $690,069. I'll bid $69 million. You owe me, Joe. Boys, I'm starving. What the flip is for dinner? Well, what do you want, Trumpy? Bro, I asked you first. Well, if that's the case, I will plead the fourth. Joseph, that's the wrong one. Oh, I meant the 92nd. Joseph, just answer the dang question. Pleading the fifth won't get you out of it. Oh, I think we should ask Obama what he wants for dinner instead. Dog, why the heck won't you tell me? Obama, come here. Trump wants to give you his secret arsenal of boom booms. What? Where is it? Oh, perfect. Now that you're here, we can ask the magical question. What do you want for dinner? 
I knew it was too good to be true. Um, what are you guys having? Well, we haven't picked anything yet. Just as I thought. Okay, let me know when you guys have thought of a food place. Brock, don't think you're going anywhere. You're helping us figure out a place to eat. Oh, come on, I'll just skip dinner. Barack, you ain't doing that. Trunky, what do you want to eat? Stop asking me. I'll eat whatever you're eating. Uh, hold up, I think he wants McDonald's again. Don't put words into my mouth, Barricade. Okay, if no one answers in the next three seconds, we'll just go to McDonald's. I don't think you realized what you just did. What are you talking about? Ha! You chose a place. Gosh darn it. All righty, boys, I'm going to the grocery store. Wait, I don't think you should do that. Why, did you wreck the car or something? Ha ha ha. What the hell happened to the car? Um, I wrecked it into a McDonald's. No, not my McDonald's. Joey, you're buying a new car. Oh, come on. Why can't you or Obama do it? Because you were the one that wrecked in the first place. All right, fine. Can one of you guys come with me? Yeah, whatever, but I'm not talking to anyone. Then you can just wait in the car. Joe, you literally wrecked the car. Oh, right. Anyways, let's start walking to this place. Trombone, are we there yet? Joey, I thought you were the one with the GPS. Oh, look, we're here. Hello, boys. How may I assist you today? Well, we're looking for a new car. Ah, uh, yes, a car. What kind of car? Probably one with four wheels and four doors. Okay, so you're looking for a car that has more than five seats? Ooh, what's this one? Ah, uh, that's the Ford Explorer. Its current price is... I'll take it. Oh, okay, just sign right here. Right here and here. Not here! Okay, scratch this. Smell that. And it's done. Enjoy your new car. Sorry, I'm late. Which one did he... Oh, my gosh. Ain't she a beaut? Guys, would you rather replace real life with Roblox or Minecraft? Oh, I think Minecraft is the best pick, because I like Minecraft. Obama, that is a bad pick. I pick Roblox because there will always be children around. Joe, I thought you got over that weird phase of you liking... Trumpy, I was joking. Don't take it seriously. Joe, it's hard to take something like that not seriously. Yeah, especially since you were into that sort of stuff before. Hold up, I'm waking up. Wow, it's about time. Not like that. I mean, like I'm remembering everything. Joe, what are you even talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you guys keep forgetting about us recording these videos and having these conversations. Joe, what are you talking about? The only thing we are recording is this short video right now. Trump, do you remember climbing the beanstalk? Joe, we didn't climb no beanstalk. What about the big Minecraft war? Do you remember that? The last thing I did was fix the timeline. Joe, I think you need to get some rest or something. Obama, don't you remember any of that? I'm sorry, Joe, but I don't recall any of that happening. Whoa, what the flip is going on? Joseph, what the pickles do you think you're doing? Wait, is that you, Denton? Oh, Denton is no longer in service. Wait, what? Guys, we're always sitting down doing nothing. Can we do anything to be productive? Well, we could clean up the house. The house is already clean, you dodo brain. Oh, well, we could make videos. We're already doing that. Hold up, what if we got jobs? That's a great idea, but where would we work? I heard there's a restaurant down the road hiring new people. Let's go check this out. Welcome to our five-star restaurant. We're looking for the best of the best to make our food the greatest in the country. Well, sir, we are the right people for this job. As you can see from our resumes, we are very skilled in the food industry. Ah, uh, yes, I can see that. Oh, it says on here that you're an orange? What the pickles? No, no, that was a typing mistake. Ah, alrighty. Well, everything looks good. But before I consider hiring you guys, I will put you guys behind the burner. Ah, yes, the burner. Guys, what is the burner? I have no idea. Alright, follow me, boys. Dog, how do you work this? Whoa! Alrighty, cook up a burger while I do the dishes. Yes, ma'am. Trump, how do I turn this on? I don't know. Ask Obama. Obama, how do I turn this on? Twist the thing. Like this? Joe, go! Trump, I always see you and Obama drive the car, but I can't... Can I get my driver's license today? Joe, even if you got your license, it wouldn't matter because the President of the United States is not allowed to drive. But don't you remember? I gave you the presidency when I lost the bet. Hmm, I guess you're right. Well, all right, let's go get your license. Trumpy, where the pickles are we? We are at the DMV. This is where you'll get your driver's license at. Holy shoot, this is gonna be fun. Welcome to the- Holy shoot, these guys are on my tail 24 sevenths. Hi, we're here to get my old friend his driver's license. Just go to your car, and I'll be right with you. Okay, thank you. Man, I'm starting to get a bit nervous now. Hello there, are you ready to start? Yes, ma'am. I'm not a ma'am, but we'll roll with it. Okay, put it into drive and go to the main road. What is a drive? You don't know what drive means? Oh, drive. I thought you said drive. Just go to the road already. Ah! Uh, I'm flooring it. Joey, stop the car. We're going to end up in an accident. My name's not accident. My name is Joe Fudging Biden. Stop the car. Now. Ooh, there's ice cream over there. Joe, don't go over there. Ah! Boys, it's 2 a.m. I think it's time we should go to bed. But we're so close to finishing up the first season of Velma. Tired, Joe. It's not worth it. The show sucks. True, but I want to see what happens. Joe, as your friend, I really think we should hit the hay for tonight. We can probably finish Velma tomorrow. It's only three more episodes, dog. Joe, just shut down the TV. It's bedtime. Ugh, fine. I'm shutting it off. All righty. Good night, boys. Good night, Trunky Monkey. Nighty night, boys.
Whoa, what the hell? Joey, are you okay? Whoa, whoa. What the flip is wrong, Trump? I have no freaking clue. Whoa, my blanket, it's gone. Chill out, Joseph. What did it look like? It looks like a blue blanket with a picture of Michael on it. Stay put, Joker, we'll find it. Obama, look upstairs while I look down here. There's no need, Trumpster, I found it. Oh, that's great. Joey, we found something. Oh my gosh, it's my blanket. Wait, where's the photo of Michael? Look, I don't want you to have photos of my wife. Wah! Obama, just give him the photo. I want to sleep. Hell no, ain't no chance. Wah! Guys, we finally made it to Dunkin' Donuts. It's actually Trunkin' Donuts. Bro, that ain't my name. Okay, let's go inside. What's up, my homies? What can I get for you? Billy Boy Bob, you work here? Look, Monica and I had some problems, and she kicked me out. Dang, that sucks, bro. Well, Trunk and Donuts here is going to order the entire menu to bring up sales. Wait, you're really going to do that, Trunk? You're going to do it, right, Trumpy Wumpy? Of course, anything for my old pal. Wow, thank you so much. This will help a lot. Hey, could you ring up the entire menu three times? Are you serious right now, Trump? I'm going to pass out. Bill, I made a money. It's nothing to me. Now take my money. Holy moly, I'm getting off the streets. All right, let me get your order ready. Okay, thank you. Let's sit here, boys. Ooh, you chose a great place, Obama. Thanks, Joker. Trump, you were very generous to Bill. Thank you. Hey, it's not a problem, homie. Oh, here comes the food. All righty, boys, here's the food. I hope you enjoy it. Boys, this is literally a mountain of food. Let's dig in. Oh, bro, I ain't feeling too good. Same, dog. I ate so many donuts. Well, at least we were able to help someone that was in need. True that, bro. Joe, did you mow the lawn today? Uh, I thought Obama was going to do it. Dude, I asked you if you could do it this morning. I was literally half awake. Oh, whatever. Just come help me take care of the lawn. Okie dokie, trunk and donuts. You'll take the push mower while I use the driving one. Oh, come on. Why do I have to use this one? Because I'm too lazy. All right, I'll do the front and you'll do the back. Okay. Let's hope he actually cleaned the backyard. Bro didn't even clean the backyard. Well, time to get to cleaning. Man, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with a push mower. Like, I'd probably give up after 20 seconds. I hate this freaking job. I should have bribed Obama to do this. Whoa, what the flip did I just run over? Oh, it was just Trump's Kirby video game. Hold up, someone just destroyed my Kirby video game. Uh, I'll just throw this in the trash so he doesn't know. Jokey, did you run over my Kirby game? Uh, what are you talking about? I sense my most favorite game in the world getting destroyed. Trump, I accidentally ran it over, but we can go to a GameStop to get a new one. Do you promise? Yes, Trumpy, I promise. Yahoo! Joe, do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, the who what now? You broke my Kirby disc and told me you would get me a new one. Oh, that's right. I'll get Obama to drive us to GameStop. Obama, can you take Trump and me to GameStop? Trumpy can literally drive, dog. I know, but you weren't in the last video and I felt bad. All right, fine. I'll take you guys to GameStop. Yay. Thank you, Obama. All right. Are you all ready to go to GameStop? I'm ready as I'll ever be, but I don't know about Jokey back there. Huh, what? Oh, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm going to start driving then. All right, we're here. Wow, that was fast. Go in and get your game. I'll be waiting here. All right, come on, Trunky Monkey. Okay, I'm coming, Jokester. Hmm, let's see. I think they have some Wii games down there. Joe, there are PlayStation games down there, not Wii games. Oh, hold up. I think they're actually over here. Wow, for once you are actually right. Uh, Trump, you may want to come look at this. What is it, Joseph? Oh, it's the Kirby game. Not that. I'm talking about this. Wait, Trumpy and his oranges, Trump the greedy orange, Trunk and Donuts the game? I have to make a call. Trump, who the flip are you calling? I'm calling my good old pal to get these dumb games off the shelves. Hi, can you transfer me to Josh? Okay, thank you. Trumpy, I'm not trying to sound mean, but these games seem fairly fun. They do not sound fun. They are using my face for idiotic games. Oh, hey, Josh. What can I do for you, Donald? Well, Joe and I were looking for a game in GameStop, and we found a game that is using my face. I was wondering if you can find out who these guys are. I can do that. First, I need to know the company that made the game. Oh, it's your mom. Trump, if you want to find the guy, then give me a name. It's your mom. That's actually the name. Seriously? Oh, okay, let me bring that up. Ah, here we go. Your mom, Incorporated. They have been making games for 10 years. Their latest games include Obama and the Drones, Joe's mission to find his medication, and the orange is too fat. What the flip? Can we get these guys taken down? Of course, but we would need to go to court if they don't take them down. All right, let me know of any updates then. Will do. Have a nice day, Trunk. Don't call me Trunk. Goodbye. All right, he's going to take down your game. What took you guys so long in that GameStop? This took us that long in GameStop. Ha 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 ha, that's amazing. That's what I said, but Trinket didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think it was amazing because they're using my handsome face. Nah, your face looks like an orange train wreck. Thanks for the compliment, Brownie. Oh, I'm getting a call. 
Hello there, Donald Trump speaking. Donald, those guys are fighting back. What guys? Your mom incorporated? Yes. Are you able to go to their offices? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Just give me the address. 12345 Orange Drive. It's near a McDonald's. Oh, I know where that is. Okay, we're heading there now. Hurry, Trunk. They're literally gonna destroy the outside of this building with oranges. Obama, drive to 12345 Orange Drive. Okay, I'm gonna let you go, Josh. We'll get this taken care of. All right, bye. Back off, you oranges. Obama, how far are we from Orange Drive? It's right there. Okay, I'm gonna run to it. Good luck, Trink. Uh, I think I'm here. Hello there, Orange. I'm glad we're finally meeting. Wait, is that you, Bill? Trumpy, you could have left our company alone, but you decided to take action. Take care of him, boys. Wait, what? No! Guys, I think we should go to my favorite place in the world. Joe, we've already told you. The retirement home doesn't want you. Not that. I'm talking about McDonald's. Joe, we already ate lunch. Trumpy, we wouldn't go for the food. We would go there to play in the play place. Joseph, that is not a good idea, especially since it's only for children. Guys, trust me. Everything will go fine. That's what you said about the daycare. Look, I needed to go there for legitimate business. Okay, let's go to the play place. Yay, I'm so happy right now. Joe, please don't do what you did to the last kid. Don't worry, Trumpy, I will behave myself. Trunk, I have a really bad feeling about this. Trust me, I do too. Wow, this is so fun. Ah, uh, hello there, do you come here often? <coughs> oh shoot, wait, I didn't mean to scare you. Well, it looks like my bad feeling is reality. Should we ditch him before anything else happens? Nah, uh, we should just watch it all unfold. Good call. Ten hours later. Dude, I think the McDonald's is closed. Joseph, let's go home. Jokey, stop playing around. Oh, what the flip? Joe, stop pranking us. We know it's you. Uh, Obama. What? Oh, shoot. Ah! Boys, I'm getting a bit hungry. We should find something to eat. I second that. Let's look in the pantry. Hmm, I don't see much to eat in here. Well, what are we going to do now? We could door dash some food. Nah, I heard that the delivery costs are through the roof. Yeah, that's true. Hold up, why don't we drive to a food place? What kind of food place? I don't know, maybe like McDonald's or Wendy's or even Taco Bell. Oh, I like McDonald's because they have a kid's meal. Obama, what do you say about McDonald's? If that's what you guys want, I shall have it too. All right, let's get ready to go. Trump, did you make sure to lock the door? Yep, and did you make sure to bring your credit card? I'm just kidding, I can pay for all of it. Oh, okay, thank you. All right, what do you guys want from here? Can I have a happy meal with fries? Can I get a happy meal with fries? Okay, what else? Oh, and can I have a Coke with that? Also, add a small Coke to that. Not small. I want a large one. Make that a large instead. What do you want, Barack? Oh, I'll just have a McSalad. And lastly, I'll take four bacon McDoubles with two Cokes. Trump, I wanted a McSalad. Barack, trust me, you won't regret it. Mmm, dog, this is so good. Told you. Joe, did you pick up milk from the store? Uh... Joe, just run back to the store and grab the milk. All right, can I take Obama with me? Well, what's he doing? Hey, what's up, Joe? Well, I forgot to get milk, and I was wondering if you could come with me. Yeah, sure. Just wait in the car while I put my guitar away. Okay. Man, I love going to the store. All right, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, we're off then. All righty, it looks like we have arrived. Yay, let's go in now. Okay, where in the world is the milk? I don't know, but I see a toy aisle over there. Joe, we're not here to buy toys. We're just getting milk. But I just wanted to walk over there real quick. Ugh, fine. Just don't bring back anything. Thank you, Obama. All right, I need to find the milk. Wow, look at all these cool toys. Hey, you there. Do you want some candy? Oh, hi. Nah, I'm good. Wow, that's a first. Well, I guess we'll do this the hard way. Wait, do what? Do this! Ah! Uh... Not so fast. Oh, shoot! Yeah, you better run. Joe, let's get out of here. Okay. Man, I wonder where those two are. We're back, Trump! Ah, good, good. Now, where is the milk? Oh, shoot. Joe, where in the world is my Call of Duty game? Bro, ask Obama. I didn't have it last. I literally let you borrow it. I know you have it. You didn't let me borrow anything. Joey, I'm going to give you one final chance to tell me where my Call of Duty game is. I don't know where it is. That's it. Get over here. Back off, Trunkin' Donuts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the flip is going on? Joe stole my game, and he isn't giving it back to me. For the one millionth time, I did not borrow or take your game. That's bullradish. Guys, settle down. We'll get this taken care of. Trump, where were you when you gave the game to Joe? Well, I was in my room. All righty. Joseph, did this actually happen? None of that is real. Not once in my life have I ever wanted to borrow a game from Trump. Huh. Very interesting. So, Trumpy, which Call of Duty game did you let him borrow? Call of Duty World at War. Trump, was that one by chance for the Wii console? Yes, it is for the Wii. Joseph, do you have a Wii console in your room right now? Uh, you know, I remember when those consoles came out. Joe, stay focused. Is there a Wii in your room? Yeah, and I was playing some Call of Duty World at War on it yesterday. I knew it! I'm taking back what is rightfully mine. No! Joey, I feel like watching some TV. Where is the remote? Oh, I think it's on the ottoman. Uh, okay. Joseph, it's not even here, you liar. That's where I last saw it, dog. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe Obama knows where it is. Obama, come here. What's up, trunk face? 
I was wondering if you've seen the remote somewhere around here. It was on the couch, but it might be gone now. Yeah, if that were the case, I would have found it already. Did you try looking under the couch? I haven't, but I can right now. Uh, all I see is a bunch of dirt and dust. That probably means that it's not under there. Really, Sherlock? I had no idea at all. What about the couch? Have you looked in the cushions? Uh, let me look there, too. There's nothing here, but there are Joe's meds. Oh, oh my gosh. After all these years, you found them. I'm getting sick and tired of this. I just want to sit down, grab a bag of popcorn, and watch my favorite show. But I can't do any of that because of this dang remote being lost. Sounds like a simple skill issue, dog. Joe, you have no right to talk. I bet you were the one that lost it in the first place. Oh, hold up. I think I'm sitting on something. Hey, I found the remote. Are you serious? Obama, I've been thinking about something lately. What have you been thinking about, Trunk? Well, I've been thinking about making a movie. What kind of movie are we talking? A comedy movie. Oh, so kind of like Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, well, that's at least what I was thinking. Okay. Well, I think Joey might have some extra props from his last failed movie. Joey, come here. Hey, boys, what's up? Well, I want to make a movie, but I don't have any props. However, Obama tells me that you have some. Yeah, they're in my room. Score! Here you go. Just make sure to return them when you are done with them. Thanks, Jokey. All right, let's build a set. Trump, I put in the last nail. Ah, uh, that's a fine piece of work, Obama. Good work. Thanks, Trumpazoid. All right, now we'll start recording. Lights, camera, action. Trumpy, where did you put my pills? I don't know, Sleepy Joe. Did you look in your room? Oh, let me look. Uh, ah! Oh, no, you slipped on a banana peel. Ha <laughs> ha. You big orange. You put this here on purpose. I did no such thing. Boys, what the flip is going on? Uh, it's not what it looks like, Joe. Yeah, we were just, uh, testing out props. Ah! Guys, we should play a real-life game. Ooh, we should play Chase the Children. Joe, I'm talking about a game that isn't really weird. Well, we could play hide-and-seek. Yes, let's play that game. Not, not it. it. Not it. Gosh dang it. Well, it looks like I'm it. Get to counting, Jokey. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh. Dog, I'm gonna have the best hiding spot in the game. Come on, I cannot find a good spot for the life of me. 21, 22, 23, 24... What comes after that? All right, I think I found a place I can hide. Let's just hope Joe doesn't find me. Apple pie, sweet tea, and 20, ready or not, here I come. Hmm, I wonder where these goofballs could be. It has been well over 20 seconds. Where in the world is he? Wait, what was that? Oh, shoot. Ha, I found you, Obama. Did you already find Trumpy? Nope, I have not. Gosh dang it. Do you by chance know where he's hiding? I have no idea, but I saw him run out the front door when we started. Wait, he ran out front? Oh, great, I have a bad feeling about this. Trump, where are you? Oh, Trumpy Wumpy, where art thou? Holy shoot, he's up there. What's up, boys? Trump, get down before you fall. Don't worry, I won't fly. Ah, la, 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 la. No! Man, I think I forgot to buy some soap from the store. Obama, can I use your Old Spice hair soap? Flip, no. That stuff can't be used on a crusty old man like you. Look, I know I'm not black, but I just want to at least use it. Bro, what are you talking about? Well, they always have black muscular men trying out the soap in the ads. That doesn't mean it's exclusive to black people. Yeah, sure. But every time I go to Walmart to pick up some of it, there are always two buff dudes guarding it. There ain't no way, dog. You better believe it. Now, can I use your Old Spice? Heck no. Just buy some other cheap brand and use that. Oh, whatever. I didn't want to use that garbage anyway. Hmm. Obama doesn't want me to use his Old Spice. Well, we'll see about that. I'm just going to grab this without him knowing. What the hell? I sent something. Thank you, Obama. All right, I'm out of here. I'm going to see what is going on because it feels so weird right now. What the hell? My Old Spice is gone. Ha ha ha! He didn't even catch me stealing it from him. I'm going to hide this from him forever. Joseph, you know why I'm in here. Just give me back the soap. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's it. I'm using Obama Hamaha. No! Ah. Joe, what the flip is this? What is what? Bro, hold up. There ain't no way. <laughs> what? What is it? Joey, how could you mess up so badly? <laughs> Dog, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about this hilarious video. <laughs> Shoot, I didn't think you guys were going to see that. First the airplane, then the bike, and now this. <laughs> I can't, dog. It's so funny. <laughs> guys, I hear there is something funny to be seen. Yes, sir, Barack. Just watch this amazing video. Ha 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 ha, Joe, how do you manage to do that? I tripped on the air. Nah, you tripped on these nuts. Ha ha ha. Stop it, Trumpy Wumpy. Don't think anyone forgot about you almost falling back in New Hampshire. Look, that floor was made to be for an ice rink, and besides, I didn't fall. Wait, you almost fell? Yes, I almost fell. Man, you're just like Joey over here. Come on, Barack, I thought you were on my side. Look, you lost the friendship ring I gave you a while ago, which means I don't have to be on your side. Guys, 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 why don't we all go to Dunkin' Donuts and make up for being mean to each other? I actually like that a lot. Same, dog. It's getting too heated up in this joint. Let's go, then. 
Trumpy Wumpy, can we play Obama's Wii game? Sure, just bring your Wii down. But your Wii console has all the save files on it. Oh, I forgot about that. All right, well, I'll bring mine then. Sounds like someone needs some meds. I forgot about one thing, Jokey. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, Obama, are you ready to play your game? Heck yeah, Drone Strike Simulator is a banger. I thought you were going to say it's explosive. That too. All righty, boys, I got the Wii. Now I'm going to set it up real quick. Man, that took you a while to bring that down. Did you have a hard time carrying all that fatness? Joseph, I will unplug everything and take this Wii back to my room. Hold up, I was just joshing, dog. That's what I thought. Okay, where's the disc? Uh, it's literally in your hand. Oh, all righty then, I'll just put that in there and we're good to go. Holy moly, this game art looks awesome. Joe, start the game already. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. We need to hit the white buildings. Joe, give me the remote. I'm a pro at this. No, I want to play. And that's a direct hit. Yeah, baby. Oh, shoot. Joseph, what the hell? You broke the TV. Uh, it was an accident. You're buying a new TV right now. Bro, this is unfair. Ah, yes. It's that time of day when I have to brush my beautiful teeth. Uh, hold up. Where is my toothbrush? I set it down, right? What the hell happened to my toothbrush? Joey, get in here now. Uh-oh, I wonder what he's mad about. What's up, Trinket? Did you use my flipping toothbrush? Nope, I used the one that has my handsome face on it. If you didn't use my toothbrush, then who did? Obamna, you are the only other person in this house. There is no way you didn't use it. Dog, I'm not stupid. Why in the world would I use your toothbrush? To be honest, I have no idea. Joe, you're the only one that has a low IQ in this house. Did you do it? Bro, I didn't do it, and I have proof. Look at this selfie I took with my toothbrush this morning. Wow, that's a weird-looking toothbrush. Ah, that's the wrong photo. Here's the right one. Hmm, this photo definitely checks out. Dog, then who did it? No one else is in this house. Uh, I'm just gonna go now. Hold your horses, Billy. Why the flip are you in our house? Well, you guys never kicked me out when we celebrated your birthday party. Oh, shoot! I forgot about that. Whoa, what the hell is going on? Well, well, well. Another glitch in the system. Wait, what? Ah! Uh... Obama, do you know what today is? Uh, I think it's Wednesday. Bro, you seriously don't remember? Remember what? Is it someone's birthday or something? Yes, it's Trump's birthday. Dog, let me look this up real quick. Oh, it actually is his birthday today. That's what I've been saying, dog. Okay, well, did you get any presents or decorations? Um, I kind of forgot to do that. Oh, shoot. Did you at least get the cake? Um, I forgot that too. Joseph, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's go to the store. Hey, boys, where are you guys going? Oh, hi, Turmpy. Uh, we were just going to pick up Bill from his house. Uh, all right. Can I go with you guys? Well, if you go, there might not be enough room because Bill is bringing his dogs. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys later. All righty. See you, Trump. Okay, let's get a move on. Barack, what cake flavor does Turnk like? I have no idea. Why do you ask? Well, I can order a cake to be made before we get there. Josepher, just Google what kind he likes. I'm sure it'll show up. Okay. Oh, it says he likes chocolate cake. Get a chocolate cake then. And done. All right. How far are we from the store? We're about five miles away. Okay. When we get there, you'll get the decorations and I'll get the presents. After we do that, we'll meet up at the bakery to pick up the cake. Okay. Joey, get ready. We're almost at the store. Dog, I'm ready to go. All right. We're here. Uh, where did you go, Joey? Dog, I got to get in the store fast. Oh, how in the world did he jump out that fast? Well, I have to hurry up, too. Man, it's a good thing the toy section is right next to the entrance. Let's see, I could get him some Legos, uh, maybe some Poke Balls. Hmm, this is tough. Bro, where in the hell is the decoration section? Oh, excuse me, do you know where the decoration section is at? Uh, I think Trump likes Princess Legos. Man, maybe he likes the other one. Uh, why is this so hard? Man, that worker was so useful. Okie dokie, I think Trump likes blue, so we'll go with that. Bro, I'll just get all five of them. Now that that's done, I'll head to the bakery. Hopefully Obama is there. Joe, where have you been? I've been waiting for two minutes now. I'm sorry, I was just confused about which one to buy. It's fine, let's just go get the cake. I like that idea. Hi, I'm picking up a cake for Jokey Smokey. One, two, three. Uh, your order won't be done until tomorrow. Ah, that's so dumb. Joe, we'll have to make the cake ourselves. Hand me the decorations and get all the ingredients. I'll buy the stuff and come back when I put it all in the car. Take it. I'll meet you back here when you get done. Okay, I have to get to the checkout area. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fairly well. How about you? Hold up, aren't you the guy from the bakery? Huh? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, baby, I got the groceries in the bag. Now I have to load them into the car. Hey, Joey. Holy shoot, you're done already? Yeah, bro. Let's get her loaded up. Wow, that's the fastest I've ever loaded something before. Joseph, her brace for impact. Wait, what do you mean? Ah! All righty, we are home. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? Never mind that, we need to get to cooking. Bill, distract Trump for us. I got you, Bobamna. Bill, is it good to come inside? It's good, dog. I got him to play some COD with me. Let's go, Joey. Turnip, you're so trash at this game. Billy, I don't see you playing this junk.
Barack, I think I messed up the cake. You're kidding. Joseph, no, we don't have a replacement. Guys, he's coming downstairs. Oh, shoot, hide the cake. Get in positions. Bill, I don't get why you didn't want me to come down here for five hours. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. You guys actually remembered. Thank you. We made you a cake, but it's burnt. Dog, I don't need a cake. The only thing I need is my awesome friends. Thank you, guys. Ooh, I have the sudden urge to eat some ice cream. Let's see. Uh, why is there a bowl of cereal in here? Ah, uh, whatever. Bro, where are my ice creams? Trunk it, where are my ice creams? Trunk it. What the flip do you want, Josepher? Where are my ice creams? Joe, it's right there. Oh, thank you, Timurp. Mmm, this is gonna be so yummy. Ah! No, I spilled my cream. Joe, what is with all the ruckus? Huh? Not my beautiful floor. Jokey Smokey, clean this up now. Can you bring me the broom? Dog, you need the mop for this. Here, make sure to make it spick and span. Alrighty, grapefruit. Okay, how in the wiener schnitzel does this work? Whoa, that was sick. Hey, Tricycle, where is Joey? Oh, he's in the kitchen. Barack, look at this thing I found on Timu. This is so awesome. Bro, come on, it's only $300. Turkey, you are not spending my money on random junk. Yeah, uh oh, that's peanut butter, ah! Whoa, what the heck is going on in there? Joey, what the frick happened? Uh, well, I was cleaning up the cream I dropped and accidentally tipped over the jar of peanut butter. What's going on? What the hell happened to my kitchen? Trumpy, I saw a white van that said free candy. Can I go to it? Joe, do not go to that van. People like you are in there. Wait, that means there are children in there. Jokey, stop it right now. There are no children in that van. Let's just keep walking. But there could be. Just let me go take a peek real quick. Oh my freaking gosh. Joe, let's keep walking. I don't feel like saving you from another person like you. Bro, the guy driving ain't like me. We have nothing in common. Both of you like children, and that's enough for us to call you related. Man, I wish I had a brother. Joe, I have to ask this every time. Did you take your meds today? Uh, oh wait, I do have two brothers. There ain't no way you just remembered that. Oh, the candy van is pulling away. I need to catch it. Joe, don't you dare move a muscle. See you, Trumpty Dumpty. I'm gonna get some free candy. Obama, we need to catch him before he gets into that van. Let's go then. We ain't gonna get anywhere just standing around. Ha 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 ha. I caught up to the van. Hi, can I have some free candy? Oh, shoot. The van stopped. We need to hurry up. Bro, they just put him in. Why today, Jokey? Hey, you better let my friend go. It's okay, Trunky. What the actual hell? I give up on everything. Trump, I'm tired of eating McDonald's every night. Can we eat somewhere else for once? Where do you want to eat at? The child's daycare? Bro, ha ha ha. That is too funny. Yeah, real funny. Um, no, I want to eat at Taco Bell. Bro, do you know what happened last time you ate at Taco Bell? Uh, I think I had dreams of children that night. No, you completely busted our sewage system and we had to get an entirely new one put in. Well, there's an easy solution to that problem. We can go to a different one. Joe's kind of right about this one because I think other locations actually have fresher ingredients. Bear Barracuda, we're talking about a fast food restaurant, not a homemade meal. Come on, Trunk, just give it a chance. I promise nothing will happen this time. Uh... Yay, I can't believe you're actually taking us to Taco Bell. Look, I'm only doing this to make you zip it. All right, what do you guys want from here? Brock and I will take two taco party packs, four Pepsis and four bean burritos. Add nacho cheese to those burritos. Yeah, can I get a... Oh man, I really have to go to the bathroom. Joe, you did not just say what I think you said. Ah! Oh shoot! Ah! Joseph, did you hang up the painting I asked you to hang up? Oh yeah, I did. You should check it out. I will. Just give me a minute. Hee hee ha ha. Joseph R. Biden, what the flip is this? Ha 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 It's the amazing painting you asked me to hang up? Bro, I asked you to hang up the one I ordered, not this piece of junk that should burn. This is the one you ordered. Bro, I did not order this junk. Let me look at my orders. Trust me, you ordered this great piece of work that belongs in a museum. The only thing that belongs in a museum is you because you're older than a fossil. Oh, here it is. I knew I didn't order this garbage. Joe, where did you hide it? Why do you assume I hid the stuff that you ordered? Because you hide stuff all the time. Anyways, where is it? Well, it's underneath Obama's bed. I don't even want to know why, man. Bark, do you still have that thing? The documents? Oh, the other thing. Yeah, I got it. Here you go. Thanks, Mr. Bums. Here you go, Turnip. Dog, what the flip is this? I did not order a floppy version of this. Well, you clearly didn't order it from the right website, Turnk. John, I ordered it from Amazon. Don't call me John. Also, do your research, dork. <laughs> I did. Trumpty Dumpty, do you think honey mustard is better than sweet and sour? Oh, flip no. Sweet and sour is the king of all sauces. Oh, you're that type of person. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, it's just that sweet and sour is literally the worst sauce ever. Oh, and honey mustard is better? Dang right. Honey mustard for life. Jokey, honey mustard ain't all that. It just tastes like vinegar. But with sweet and sour, it tastes like the most naturally made sauce ever. You're full of it, Trunky Monkey. The only thing sweet and sour tastes like is a dirty sock. You better take that back. Why would I take back the truth? Boys, 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 instead of arguing, why don't we hold a competition to see which one is clearly better? Oh, hell yeah. 
Today, we will be holding an eating competition to see which sauce is better, sweet and sour or honey mustard. Contestants, get in position. You're going down, Joker. Keep dreaming, Trunk. All right, we'll start in three, two, one, go. Holy moly, Trump is off to a good start. However, Joe is slacking. Dog, he's going so fast. Joe, start eating the burgers. Okay, I finished. What the hell? I looked away for a second. Obama, he cheated by using his Biden blast to obliterate the foods. Trump wins. Trinket, I've been thinking about something lately. Oh, great. This won't be good. I was thinking about inviting someone over to stay the night. Wait, you want someone to come over and basically have a sleepover? Oh, and gosh, did someone say sleepover? Joe, don't disrupt the adult's conversation. Barack, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, yeah, it would be like a sleepover. Ah, I'll get my blankie ready. Did he take his nap today? I don't think so. Anyways, the person I wanted to invite was... Bill Clinton is my name. Don't wear it out. Hey, what's up, Bill? Nothing much. Oh, thanks for letting me stay the night. Anything for my good pal? Alrighty, boys. What are we doing first? Well, Bill and I were going to play some COD World at War. Oh, I guess that's fine. Come on, Bill. I got Doritos and Mountain Dew as well. Trump, what are we going to do? Well, I'm not entirely sure now. Oh, get that one over there. Nice shot. Thanks. I've been taking many classes for this sort of thing. Trump, I just had an idea. What if we watch the rest of Velma? But we were going to watch that with Obama. I know, but we all heavily dislike the show, so it should be fine. I guess that is true. Uh, what the heck? Let's do it. Alrighty, where is the remote? Oh, great. Not again. Guys, I think it's time we address a certain thing we've been doing. Oh, are you talking about your mom? No, he's talking about your mom, Trunk. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. What, the fact that we mess with each other a lot? No, I'm talking about the stupid nicknames. What's wrong with the nicknames? I thought they were fairly funny. What nicknames? Trunky Monkey, Trunk Turnip, Turnip Orange Tire, Big Orange, Trunkin Donuts, Trumpy Wumpy, Trumpster, and Trumpazoid are his real names. Alrighty, Jokey, Joker, Joseph, Joey, Bidenator, Bidet, Bojiden, Old Man, Crusty Old Man, Crazy Ugly Old Man, Dementia Man, Medicationless. All right, Tangerine, Mars, Red Sand, Spray Tan, Fat Both weird. of you stop it. This nickname thing will stop now. Obama, Obama, Mr. Yemen, Barricade, Brownie, Drone Striker. What if we like the nicknames? Then you'd have to be put in an insane asylum with Joe over here. I'll have you know that I live in the White House, not the insane asylum. Obama, let me spill my knowledge all over you. The nicknames we give each other really bring us together because it shows how much we really care about one another bro what do you mean uh i give up goodbye boys i feel like it's time we get some exercise oh heck no i don't do none of that exercise junk hush up trunk obama what kind of exercises well it's a fairly fun exercise just follow me dog why are you taking us to the backyard holy shnikes bro you got a trampoline heck yeah dog now trumpy can't complain about exercise because he'll be having fun on it hey i don't know dog Whoa! Yeah, this is so freaking fun! Was I right or was I right? Obama, this is so fun. Why don't you come to jump with us? Nah, dog. I think I'll pass this time. Oh, come on, Barricade. Don't be a party pooper. Yeah, just jump for a few minutes. Hmm. All right, fine. But I'll only jump for a few minutes. Yay. Thank you, Bark. Hey, Obama, you want to do something to Joey? Yeah, sure. La, 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 la. Man, this is so fun. Hey, Jokey. Barack, now. Wait, what? Ah! Ha, 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 ha. We got him, Obama. Uh, Trump, why isn't Joe falling back down? Uh Uh-oh. Okay, set him here. Bro, ouchie. Joe, everything will be fine. Joseph, we're sorry for doing that. I didn't think you were that light. Dog, the only reason I went that high was because of your fatness. I'm not fat! Man, I can't believe this. Jokey made fun of three of the greatest games ever. Fruit Ninja, Angry Birds, and Temple Run. Well, I'll show him. It's time to do a little bit of trolling. Lalala, ooh, I think I found the right channel. Yay, I love watching Coco Melon. Wee, yay. Dog, I wish I owned one of those children. And that should do it. Ha, he will not have a single clue. Ha ha ha, yay, I love going on car rides we joker smoker uh are you watching coco melon again ah hi trumpy i was just watching some pawn stars starring rick harrison hi i'm rick harrison and this is my pawn shop uh anyways i was going to ask if you could give me a copy of your book i've been very interested to read it oh my goodness you finally want to read my book let me go get it oh boy this is going to be good man i've never been more excited in my life Ha 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 ha! That's what happens when you make fun of the best games ever made. You did this because of me spitting facts? Bro, how in the hell can you hate Angry Birds? That game shaped all games we see today. Angry Birds did nothing. Pong shaped all games today. You are so old! Joey, have you seen the news lately? Dog, I'm 80 years old. Of course I look at the news. Okay, what was the news for today? Uh, child gets sniffed. I mean, Mount Everest. I mean, England. Oh my gosh, there's supposed to be a shooting star. That's what was on the news. Dude, I was totally about to say that. Jokey, no you weren't. Guys, did you hear about what's supposed to happen tonight? I did, but the old man over here didn't. That's such a shame. Anyways, we should get ready for it. Barack, I do know about it, and yes, we should get ready for it. All right, Joey, you will get the blankets. Obama, you will grab the pillows, and I will get the snacks. Of course, you're grabbing snacks. Look, an orange has got to, I mean, a muscular man has got to eat. All right, big orange.
Guys, I think we got everything. Nope, I'm still waiting on my DoorDash order. Why in the world did you order DoorDash? Because I felt like eating some Big Macs. While you wait for your food, I'm going to see the shooting star. Hey, Joseph, where is Term? Well, he's waiting for his DoorDash order. If he doesn't come out in the next 10 seconds, he's going to miss it. Don't worry, Obama. I'm here and ready for this. Wow, you made it just in time. Whoa, there it is. Holy moly, I wonder how much that's worth. Guys, I just bought something off of eBay. Sleepy, you better not have used my own money. Don't worry, Trumpkin, I didn't use your money. I used Obama's money. Joseph, why is there a $50,000 charge on my card? Oh, shoot, I'm out of here. Ha, 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 ha. Joseph, Trumpy Dumpty, where is Joey? He just ran out front. Okay, I don't think he'll see me in here. Holy shoot! Ha 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 ha! There ain't no way! Joseph, I know you're in the ice cream truck. Come out now! Obama, I can explain. Yeah, explain why you bought an ice cream truck for 50 G's. Well, I felt like we could sell ice cream to children. Not gonna lie, I do like making a quick buck. Joe and children don't mix, though. Come on, Obama, just let me keep it. I'll make sure to pay you back. All right, fine, but you're going to need some help. Come and get some ice cream, only 99 cents. Also, I love children. Joseph, hush up, we're not trying to scare the customers away. Hi, are you guys still open? Yes, we are still open, Michael. Michelle, what are you doing here? Well, I was taking a walk and I saw an ice cream truck, so I figured it was you guys. It is us. Now, do you want to buy some ice cream? Yeah, I'll take a vanilla cone. All righty, here you go. Have a good day. First sale, baby. Joe, did you buy that subscription for Disney Plus as I asked you to? Nah, bro. Why waste money on a streaming service when you can use the good old DVD player? My net worth is in the billions, Josepher. I don't care to spend 10 or $50 per month. Look, Disney Plus doesn't even have all the classics like Mickey and the Beanstalk. Uh, Joe, I'm pretty sure it actually does. Nah, I think you're just hallucinating or something. Joker, let's stop playing these games. Just unplug the DVD player from the TV so we can watch a movie on Disney+. Plus. We are watching a movie on the DVD player, and that's final! Fine, I'll allow it this one time. Oh boy, this is going to be so much fun. This Holy Disney shoot, where is the remote? Uh, I thought you had it. Stand up, Joseph. I know it's under... Oh, it's not under you. Guys, we're running out of time. Ah! Find that remote. Oh, it's at the end of the table. Get it. Get it. I got it. No, I clicked the stupid thing. That's it. I ain't staying around for the ads. Goodbye, DVDs. Oh, come on. We could have waited two minutes just to watch the movie. What movie was it anyway? Oh, it was my favorite movie, Cars. What? Dog, this fancy McDonald's was definitely worth the five-hour wait. Let me be clear. That was literally the best meal I've had in ages. Trump, you made a great decision to bring us here. And to think it all started with us talking about small loans of a million dollars. That it did, Trump. That it did. Anyways, who's going to pay the bill? Well, since Trumpy wanted to come here, I feel like he should pay for it. Oh, heck no. You can pay for it, Jokey. Why would I pay for it? You literally had way more food than Barack and I combined. Joe's got a point. You practically brought the whole buffet to the table. Barack, I saw you grab six quarter pounders and stuff them in your pockets. Barricade, is that true? Look, I think Trump's hallucinating or something. All I grabbed was a McSalad. Hey, let's not get off topic. Joseph, just pay the bill so we can go. Well, I forgot my credit card. You're lying. By the way, you forgot your meds again. I took my meds before we came in here. And there's the proof that he's lying. Oh, doggone it. Brock, why don't you pay the bill? Because I don't have enough to pay for it all. Hold up. I just had an idea. Why don't we just split the check? Huh, I guess that is fair. Yeah, I can definitely do that. It's about freaking time! Ah, oh, man, I cannot sleep for the life of me. Oh, uh, I'm just going to eat something. Hmm, what do we have in here? Leftover McDonald's, strawberries, yogurt. Hey, I don't want none of that. Hold up, I know what to eat. Hmm, cereal at 3 a.m. really hits the spot. Whoa, what the hell was that? Ugh, is that you, Trump? Joseph, what are you doing up at 3 a.m.? Well, I was having nightmares from that scary movie we watched. Here, grab a bowl. Dude, cereal at 3 a.m. hits differently, though. That's what I'm saying, dog. It's always the best at this time in the morning. Anyways, are you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. That's good. That's good. Trunk, I don't want to bring this up, but when will we disappear? I mean, this meme isn't going to last forever. Where the heck did that come from? Joey, I wouldn't worry about that. What happens when people completely forget about us? Will we no longer exist? Joseph, you're going too deep. Let's just focus on the now. Uh, what are you guys doing up? Barack, will this AI meme on a live one day? Uh, Trump, what were you guys talking about? Uh, never mind. Joe, whatever happens to this meme will happen. We can't really control it. So should we just enjoy it right now? Absolutely, Joe. Live a great life. Yay, I can finally watch some TV. Good oh, evening. shoot. Welcome the TV is broken again. Tonight. Trunk Joker and Donuts, come fix the TV for me. What do you we want, Joman? The TV is broken the again. Ask Obama to help you. He only appears four times in each video. Ah, oh, that's very true. Obama, come here. What's up, Jaller Bill? Well, the TV is broken again. But it looks perfectly fine to me. No, Tucker isn't supposed to be on here anymore. Joe Snoozle, they're just playing older episodes of his show thingy. I don't believe that. Fix the TV right now. Ah, uh, never mind. I'll just call the Geek Squad to fix it. 
Hi, this is Josh with the Geek Squad. How may I be of assistance? I was going to watch some Coco Melon, but the TV is broken. Can you send someone to fix it? Oh, excuse me. Someone is knocking at the door. Hi, I'm Josh with the Geek Squad. You need your TV fixed, right? Oh, yeah. Come inside. The TV is just over here. Now, um, this TV here, looks Joey perfectly fine. No, Tucker's on it. He's not supposed to be on TV. Thanks for wasting my time and have a splendid day. Anyways, oh, come on. Can you at least try fixing it? Darn. Yo, just change the channel. There, it's fixed. You fixed it. Yeah. Boys, I think it's about time we... Stop everything you guys are doing. I just found out something. What did you find out, Term? Well, you have to come inside to see what it is. Oh, wonderful. I wonder what the great Dolan Trumpet wants to show us. Uh, what is that? This is a photo of my handsome face. Bro, you seriously took down the photo of your mugshot just to put that ugly thing up. You have a picture of Turnip's mugshot, too? Oh my gosh, I thought I was the only one. Well, why does everyone have that stupid Photoshop photo of me? Turkey, just admit it. This is really a photo of you. Hold the truck up. I just got a text. Go look at Trump's computer in T-minus 10 seconds. Boys, let's go see what it is. Okay, I may have tripped, but that's fine. Anyways, what was on the screen? This is on the screen. We're about to hit 100,000 subscribers. Oh, so this is the part where everyone swipes off the video. Yes, sir. Oh, Denton just hit it. Let's go. Wait, does that mean I'm allowed to say what we are releasing for hitting 100K subs? Yeah, go for it. Okay, first off, we're releasing another part of us playing Uno today. Second off, we now have Joey merch. Obama's a bit mad because I got my own merch before him. Ah! Thanks to every single one of you guys that has become a member. Also, we recently hit 100,000 subscribers. I just want to say thank you. I really never thought I would one day be able to hit such a goal in my entire life. Also, for 100,000 subscribers, we now have Gaming Jokey merch. So, if you ever wanted to have a Joey Biden gaming hoodie, then you could. And one more thing I want to announce for hitting 100k. The President Start a War in Minecraft will have another season coming soon. I don't know when, but it'll definitely be soon. So turn your notifications on and keep an eye on Denton's channel. Guys, for real though, thank you for all of your support. I really couldn't have done it without any of you guys. Sorry I'm late. Did you already mention the merch? Joe, you were way too late. Have an awesome day, y'all.